Hi everyone, CP Tiro here, back with another video, and for this video in particular, I'll be covering the Japanese voice acting cast for the new upcoming game Raincode by Chun Spikesoft, or I should say, mainly from the team who made Dongin Rampa. So in this video in particular, I'll be giving my own opinions on the voice acting cast, and also be showing highlights of their voice acting chops on full display. If you guys are interested for more details, feel free to check out the video description. With that out of the way, let us begin. Starting off, we have the main character, Yuma Kokohead. He'll be voiced by Katsumi Tokuhara. This will be his first major role, actually, but he has done prior roles, um, like various side roles, from The Trials of Cold Steel anime, Higodashi, and 86. Here's a quick clip for you guys to get familiar with him. He sounds pretty decent so far, and I don't know, I feel like he really has like risen up to the title of a protagonist of this role. So yeah, enjoy. <laughs> And next up, we have Shinigami, who'll be voiced by Sayumi Suzushiro, who played Kei Shirogane from Kaguya Sama Love is War and Akira Ono from High School Girl. Um, at the moment, it feels like Shinigami is like a facet or a different side of personality from Yuma, so it'll be interesting to see how that dynamic kind of plays out. But anyhow, here's a clip of her in action. Okay, and next up we have Vivia Twilight, who will be voiced by Yushiro Umihawa, who most recently played Weather Report from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Stone Ocean, and Goblin Slayer from Goblin Slayer. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip of him in action. Okay, coming up next we have Apex Logan, who'll be voiced by Shotaro Morikubo, who I personally know him as playing Yosuke Hanamura from Persona 4 and Shikimaru from Naruto. Those characters are quite laid back that I've mentioned, and this one's kind of like really out there, so I'll be interested to hear him on full display, but here's a quick clip of him in action. <laughs> Moving up, we have Zange Eraser, who'll be played by Yosuke Akimoto, who played Master Asia from Gundam G and Zaruddin from Kingdom Hearts 2. I did actually hear the Master um, Asia in the Japanese dub, it was like pretty decent, so I'm expecting more. But anyhow, here's a clip of him in action. <laughs> And coming up next, we have Zilch Alexander, who will be voiced by Tomokazu Seki, who previously played Domon from Gundam G, another Gundam G uh, role, and Sunea from Doraemon. It's kind of interesting to see how he can keep his like youthful voice after all these years, but anyhow, here's a clip of him in action. <laughs> And next up we have Deshiko Thunderbolt being voiced by Ken, yeah just Ken, who played Jaden Yuki from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and most recently Fogado from Fire Emblem Engage. I really enjoyed him playing Fogado so I have really high hopes of playing and hearing more of this character in action. Okay, moving up, we have Hanara being voiced by Yui Ishikada, who most recently and probably most prominently played Mikasa Akaman from Attack on Titan and Tubi from Nier Automata, who I have no idea, they, they sound completely different if you hear them in Japanese. But anyhow, here's a clip of her in action. Okay, and up we have Putri Lavbin being voiced by Yui Horie. He played Tsubasa Hanekawa from Bakemonogatari and Hitomi from Dead or Alive. It's kind of funny because I've seen her play like older female characters, but more recently she's been playing younger female characters, which is a funny dynamic. But here's a clip of her in action. <laughs> Fubuki Clockford will be voiced by Saori Onishi, who played Ice Wardenstein from, oh god, 
Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Infinite combat. And the Vigilant April Skinose from Gabriel Dropout. Oh my god, that was so long. But anyhow, here's a clip of her in action. Following up, we have Minami Goldmine, who will be voiced by Yukari Tamura, who played Rika Furide from Higarashi when they cry, Kiki and Ahida from Genshin Impact. I know I have a lot of fans on my channel who do love the Genshin Impact, so I know you guys are going to go crazy for her, basically. But anyhow, here's her in action. <laughs> Next, we have Yako Furio being played by the legendary Takehito Koyasu, who is most notably known for playing Dio from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Aokiji from One Piece, and Zeke from Attack on Titan. Uh, you guys can clearly tell he's talking when you'll be hearing his voice, and here's that clip for right now. <laughs> And lastly, we have number one, who will be voiced by Akira Kamiya, who most notably played Kinu Kuman from obviously Kinu Kuman, or for you guys who watched Ultimate Muscle back in the day, which was technically a sequel, so he played that, and also Ryo Saiba from City Hunter. You guys should definitely see the Jackie Chan adaption of City Hunter, it's like absolutely crazy. But anyhow, here's a clip of him in action. Okay, and that more or less brings an end to my video. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. If you have any feedback to give, feel free to leave some feedback. Uh, but yeah, there are actually more characters and stuff like that, but due to the characters not appearing in any trailer so far, it wasn't really going to be an introduction video on my part and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in seeing more of the characters and who will be playing them, feel free to check out the video description of this particular video so you guys can see who will be playing who. Um, I'm looking forward to playing the game myself, I haven't played a Dongan Rap up game before, technically this isn't that but it's more like, like more or less in the same style, so I'm looking forward to playing it. Anyhow, until next time, take care and goodbye.